Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Benji and welcome back to another video. Before we get started with this one, make sure to please drop a like on the video for some good luck for AMC. If you guys want to see some all-time highs like I do, make sure to please drop a like on the video. I'm super excited to announce that we currently have a few more slots open for our exclusive private trading discord. Inside the discord, you'll find real-time stock picks from yours truly, see all my trades in real time, and chat with other thousands of investors that are constantly posting plays, trades, and more. We even have multiple millionaire investors in there, which you could pick their brain, ask them questions, etc. So make sure you guys join before we close the server again, because we are only letting in a limited amount of people. Click the second link down below in my description to join. All right, guys, on this one, we do have Mark Cuban, of course, the billionaire investor. We all know Mark Cuban. Mark Cuban gave some thoughts and some insight on the whole meme stock phenomena and talked about what he thinks of the whole thing. And spoiler alert, he is definitely sticking up for the retail investors. Listen to this. And, and, and Mark, I want to hear your thoughts on this because eh? I sure. get it. I, I, I love the sentiment of being able to stick it to the hedge <laughs> funds and what the hedge funds have got, been able to do in some cases has been really, really bad news. But if you're manipulating market prices, I don't see how that's a good thing really in, in any scenario. How is this any different than what every brokerage firm does? You know, we've been talking about get it's, long, get loud for, for it's not, generations, it's not good. right? It's not good for the brokerages to be doing that at all, either. I'm not defending that. It's just when you see moves like this, I, it, it's a little crazy. And I, I wonder what Doug Parker is thinking. I wish we could get him back on to ask him what he thinks about his stock being up better than 50 percent, because I, I would think that makes a company pretty hard to run, too. How do you live up to those expectations now? Oh, but they're not expectations at all. I mean, look, the reality is you just have to run your company and do your best. It doesn't change the fundamentals of the company at all. You know, it, it so many respects is window dressing. And, and if you are an owner of American Airlines, if you're an owner of GameStop, hopefully, you know, prior to all this, hopefully you owned it for a good reason and you believe in the company. And all the, the manipulation, not even manipulation, all the, the swings in the price of the stock it's all just Michigas, right? I mean, if it's a good company, it's a good company. If it's a bad company, it'll end up going out of business. And, you know, the people who, you know, bought it just to speculate, will some will make money, some will lose money. But that's just the way the market's always worked. So right away, I love the fact, first of all, that Mark Cuban right away came out swinging, say, saying that the Reddit community is doing nothing different than the brokers, the market makers do all the time. <clears throat> and the lady interviewing Mark, of course, said that, well, neither or are necessarily good. But Mark explains that this has been going on forever. The only thing that's really changed is the speed and the density and the reduction in friction for smaller traders to, to trade. That's the only thing that's changed. Yeah, I mean, it, it, look, it's good news in terms of crowdsourcing, being able to have the same heft that some of these really big whales have on their own if you can get this together but we don't know who some of the people on the chat boards are or in reddit are on this on these threads who are saying some of these things too do you worry that some of the wall street guys could get behind that some of the big guys and manipulate those things yeah but it's not really manipulation it's it's absolutely no different than what has always happened becky you know it's just these folks are picking things where you know heavily shorted stocks they'll go to low float stocks because they know they can flex and, and show off you know, and, and let people see what's going on. But put, look at it the other way. What if they go after companies that are really good and or maybe smaller companies that are on a, have a great social mission and get people not just to buy them in mass and quickly so the stock price stock, uh, skyrockets, but also to hold on to them or, you know, in, in cryptocurrency terms, hodl them so that, you know, that company really can, can grow based off of the valuation of that stock. You know, so I think get one thing straight here i do not understand how the mainstream media considers reddit boards where people talk about ideas talk about stocks and agree on things disagree on things i do not understand why they consider that manipulation it's all out there the information's all out there so many softwares out there that hedge funds use personally that can scrape data such as words i do not understand how messaging boards where everyone's talking gathering thoughts i do not understand why the mainstream media considers that manipulation if you want to see some manipulation, let's talk about some of the things that some of the hedge funds do. Naked shorting, abusive shorting, failure to deliver. So there's an entire list right here of actual manipulation of stocks. I think now it's just a flex. You know, they pick the right place to show off with these heavily shorted stocks. And, you know, hopefully they'll go to good companies too and, and help them grow. And, and we'll see a positive side of this that hopefully will have long lasting effects. 
Look, I think one thing this definitely does is shines a light on, on some of the behavior that regulators really should step in and take a look at, some of the behavior by the hedge funds. <laughs> if, if you're able to short more than 100 percent of a stock, if, if you don't have to disclose your shorts ever, if you can do one thing and, and you know, say one thing and do another, I, I, I think that there could be a call for additional regulation coming on that. What, what are your thoughts there? Well, I mean, if you're misleading, right, if you're, you're pumping and dumping to the upside or if you're shorting and, and misleading people to the downside, yes, that's obviously something the regulators should look at. But remember, when you short a stock, there's a VIG on it, right? You have to borrow it, and you're paying some percentage to the, the, whoever owns the stock and is loaning it out. And as someone who's shorted stocks many times, you know when that VIG is high, you know exactly what you're getting into, and you know exactly what the risks are. You know, and you just hope something like this doesn't happen. But again, it's not the first time that low flowed or heavily shorted stocks have been targeted. It's just very visible, and it's just not the normal suspects that are doing the targeting. There are many hedge funds that, that have made a lot of money over the years targeting heavily shorted stocks. And so I don't think this is anything different. It's just the people who are, who are making the push aren't who we expect them to be. And so that's why I like it. You know, when you bring people out of nowhere to, to really show the inefficiencies of the market, it's a good thing. Now, whether you actually like Mark Cuban or not, I would have to say that that's one of the best explanations about the situation going on. Mark Cuban's spot on. I do think that this is no different than anything else that's went on before. Hedge funds have been doing this for years. Now it's just a problem because the retail investors want to get involved. But if you guys want to stay up to date with everything else regarding AMC, make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video. Also like the video for some good luck for AMC moving forward here. And lastly, if you guys haven't already, go down to my description, the second link down there and join our private exclusive Discord server. We are only accepting a few more members, so make sure you join today. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.